Some federal dollars on the way to help clean up Long Island Sound. Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro announcing this morning that $8 million will be earmarked for that effort. News 8's Ken Pierce live in News 8 Control this midday with details on how that money will be spent. Good afternoon, Ken. Good afternoon to you, Keith. Environmental groups very happy with that funding, especially since originally President Trump wanted to eliminate that money. But Republicans from New York worked with a Democrat from Connecticut to fight that cut. It will not stand, and we're going to have this money replaced. That's what several politicians said about the Trump administration's plan to eliminate money to protect Long Island Sound. And when President Trump's budget zeroed this out and eliminated that support, we knew that couldn't stand. So folks from both sides of the Sound, New York and Connecticut, and both sides of the aisle came together to fight that plan. The result? That the Department of Interior and Environment is going to fund the bill for the Long Island Sound for $8 million. $8 million is twice what they got in previous years. So what will that money do? For one thing, it'll fund more testing of the sound, monitoring nitrogen, oxygen, and algae to make sure they're at the right levels to promote marine life. This is a good day to point out another thing that this money is going to help fund. On rainy days like this, the rainwater falls down, hits all the hard paved surfaces of a city like New Haven, flushes everything on those paved surfaces down into the storm drains, which empty out into Long Island Sound. That's not always good for Long Island Sound. That's why Save the Sound has been helping build bioswales, places where dirty storm runoff can soak into the ground and keep pollutants from washing into storm drains. The money will also help clean up rivers that flow into the Sound, like the West River, which Save the Sound has already been cleaning up. The river's flowing much cleaner than it used to be. These are projects that we can do all around Long Island Sound, bring river herring back, uh, bring you know the ecology of the Sound back. And for anyone asking why spend millions of dollars to save some fish, well, Long Island Sound actually generates tens of billions of dollars for the overall economy from things like fishing and tourism. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you.